so it's a um, we call it as basically compound angles so there are set of formulae sin a plus b sin a minus b so we are assuming here we have the values of sin a sin b cos a cos b tan a tan b these are known I'll explain uh, as we go forward so if we know these things and how do we get this the formulae sin a cos b plus cos a sin b and if it is a minus here then you will have minus here sin a cos b minus cos a sin b so this is the formula for sin like for example sin. yeah for sin let's suppose we want to find out we know sin 60 is root 3 over 2 or 0.866 if you do in the calcium and <coughs> we know it's sin 45 is 1 over root 2 or 0 0.707 so we know these two values but we need to find out sine 15 degrees so we these are given or we know them and find sine 15 degrees so we use the formula sine 60 minus 45 and of course you feed into the calculator you will get the sine 15 value that's of course we can do that okay so if the calculator is not available and we are to sh do without the calculator then this is sine 60 cos 45 minus cos 60 sine 45 so yeah I'm using this correct I'm using that formula yeah so then we have sine 15 equals to sine 60 is root 3 over 2 times cos 45 is 1 over root 2 minus cos 60 is half and sine 45 is 1 over root 2 so when you simplify you get root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2 this is in a third form that means you don't simplify this root 3 and all the things so we call this as a third form this is a sine 15 value if you want to simplify or if you want to use the calci 1.732 minus 1 divided by 2 times of 0 0.707 so that's equal to 0 0.732 divided by this is 1 point so it's 1.414 so root 2 yeah. oh sorry 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 I think that's not correct um, point seven point yeah this is actually this one is wrong uh, this one is wrong this is 1.414 that's equal to 0 0.732 divided by this is one this is correct numerator is correct this is two times of this is 2.828 so that's the value of that so this compound angles are to be used in a straight form this way okay then let me explain yeah Huh, these are the sine compound angles this formula is the sine compound angles that means either subtraction or addition so we can see one more example with the addition okay. for example we want to find out 
sin 75 degrees. So we can write 75 as 45 plus 30. So take this and we will say sin 75 is nothing but sin. I am applying the sign both sides 45 oh, yeah. plus 30 degrees. And then I use a formula here. For this, I use the formula, first formula. Sin 45 times cos 30 plus cos 45 sin 30. I believe you will have all this formula in the booklet. Um, the, the way it is proceeding, I think uh, the way I think UK schools follow, you may have even open book. Today's newspaper said, right? You may have even open book examination in for 20. For equal yeah. So if that's the case, I think formula and all, you don't need to bother actually. Yeah. Formula examples, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything will be there in the book. Yeah. Uh, so that fear of the formula and all, we can keep it aside. Uh, if you understand the logic, uh, then it's good. Okay. Um, open book is easy if you that's why we wanted to follow at least you know a prescribed textbook right if you follow notes of course notes also is to be given like you know if Malia follows uh, uh, notes and they have to supply you the notes in the examination also the same yeah. notes that is applied okay so using this formula we'll have this is 1 over root 2 multiplied by cos 30 is root 3 over 2 plus cos 45 is 1 over root 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2 so that will be same as root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2 so the previous one was root 3 minus 1 this is root 3 plus 1 so you will get 2.732 divided by 2.828 so when you simplify you get the answer so we have the we have done sine of sum of the angles that's the formula one formula and the other formula is a sine of difference of the angles yeah difference of the angles this is a minus b that's a, a plus b these are the things we have done so next page um, we will be trying for cos compound angles yeah tan as well okay. so cos a plus b will be cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and cos a minus b obviously will be plus cos a cos b plus sin a sin b it's a different the formula also signs are different as the structure also is different this is the cos formula so let's so yeah yeah correct correct so let's try both the things we want to try for example cos 15 we could go as cos 45 minus cos 30 sorry minus 30 here then we use the second formula so cos 45 times cos 30 minus sin 45 times sin 30 so 1 over root 2, isn't it plus? This is plus, right? Yes, plus. So cos 30 is root 3 over 2 plus 1 over root 2 sin 30 is 1 by 2. So this is root 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2, which is the same as sin 75. Makes sense. So we got cos 15 is the same as sin 75. Why? Because these are complementary angles. When you add these two, you get 90, right? 
Yeah. So sine 75 value, which we have seen in the last page. See, this is a sine 75. We got this as sine 75. Okay. So the sine 75 value and the cos 15 value both are same. 2 3 plus 1 divided by 2 root 2. Even though we oh, use yeah. a different formula and we arrived at the same result. It makes sense because 75 degrees and 15, when you add up, you get 90 degrees. So it's a complementary pair, right? This is a complementary pair. That's why they are same. Yeah. So that's how we use for the difference. Let's suppose we want cos 75. Cos 75 would be cos 45 plus 30. So you will have cos 45, yeah, cos 30, first formula, this formula, minus sin 45 times sin 30. <coughs> so this gives 1 over root 2, cos 30 is root 3 over 2, minus sin 45 is 1 over root 2, sin 30 is half. So you get root 3 minus 1 divided by 2 root 2. So this is the same as sin 15 because these two are complementary. Yeah. Sin 15, oh, yeah. yeah, sin 15 we did in a previous page. Sin 15, same value. Yeah. Yeah. So we are trying to do with two formulae: sin, cos, tan. Next one would be a tan, tangent, tan a plus b a equals to tan a plus tan b divided by 1 minus tan a tan b. It's a different formula. And tan a minus b equals tan a minus tan b. The signs will change. 1 plus tan a tan b. So, we go with the same examples. Let's suppose we want tan 75 degrees. So, tan 45 plus 30. So, 75 is written as tan 45 plus 30. We apply this formula. Tan A is tan 45 plus tan 30 over 1 minus tan 45 times tan 30. So tan 45 is given as 1, 1. Tan 30 is given as root 3. These are given. Yeah, you will get. It's a sine 30 by cos 30. Oh, it's 1 by root 3. Yeah, you are right. It's not... Uh, It's not root 3, it's 1 by root 3. Yes. So 1 over root 3. So we substitute these values here. Tan 45 is 1 plus 1 over root 3 divided by 1 minus 1 times 1 over root 3. So when you simplify, we'll get root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3. We are taking LCM on common denominator. So root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3. Okay. You assume like this, right? You, you do that and you get this. So that's root 3 plus 1 over root 3 minus 1. This is tan 75. So if you need to get tan 15, we use tan 45 minus 30. So same formula. You will have minus here. So when you work it out, you will get root 3 minus 1 divided by root 3 plus 1. I'm just not doing the entire thing, but that's how you will get it. 
yeah this this is what you will get when you do it i i will okay. do that. yeah i will do that next page so tan 15 equals to tan 45 minus tan 30 divided by 1 plus tan 45 tan 30 That's equal to one minus one over root three divided by one plus one over root three, which would give you root three minus one divided by root three, root three plus one over root three. So this get cancelled, so you will have root three minus one divided by root three plus one. This is what tan sorry tan fifteen degrees. So. what we learnt is there are compound angles which is like sum of two angles or the difference of two angles and for sin cos tan of this compound angles we had the formula six formula is there and that's what we have worked it out okay so we had that a plus b is what we have done and we also have done a minus b this has got many more applications many more applications in the sense in the sense so let's say case 1 what if b equal to a that implies a plus b equal to a plus a which is 2a so sin a plus b is nothing but sin 2a in this case in this case correct yeah so automatically you will have a different formula for sin 2a will be sin a into cos a i am applying the formula sin a cos b okay using the formula using my a plus b formula sin a cos yeah the previous page we did that right it's just that yeah so you will have cos a sin a both are same both terms are same that means you get 2 sin a cos a so this is given as another formula so this is obtained from compound angles sin a plus b okay so you will see actually these applications in many places these applications like you know applying that compound angle in many formulae so you can even have sin 3a formula also separately how do we do that sin 3a so it can become sin 2a plus a and then you keep on getting some other thing for sin 3a you can have sin cos 3a you can have tan 3a all these things okay so i i don't want to flood the, i don't want to flood the uh, uh, session with the formula to many formula but I'll give you case two, which is interesting. Actually, this is case one, right? This is case one. Yeah. So case two. Is, what if a equal to b equal to a by two? or some other thing if not a by 2 let's call this as some uh, x by 2 a something some i have taken x by 2 so then what happens sin a plus b formula we know that's the formula is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b this is the formula we have to substitute a and b with this so that means sin x by 2 Plus x by two equals to sine x by two 
cos x by 2 plus cos x by 2 sin x by 2. Isn't it? So, this is half x plus half x is sin x. That's equal to 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2. If you look at this formula and the previous formula, sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a, right? And this formula, both look similar actually. Correct? Yeah, it's just that if you have, if you have whatever you have here, you divided that by 2, right? Half of that, right? Here also half of that. And you put a 2 here. 2 is always there. So, yeah, what happens is like, you know, this is much widely used formula. For example, someone asks, what's a sin 6a? Or rather, I will just say sin 8a. I use this logic. Here you have 8a, that means 2 sin 4a multiplied by cos 4a. Because half of that I have to take. Correct? Okay. Correct? Yeah. yeah. So, here, for example, for this again, I'll write it as 2 sin 2a cos 2a cos 4a. That means this formula, I get, again I split 4a to 2a and 2a. This is only for sin. Okay? Only yeah. for sin I'm doing. Okay? So, this can be further divided. You can have 2 2 2 sin a cos a cos 2a cos 4a. So now if you look at it, this is 8 sin a cos a cos 2a cos 4a. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't split for cos. Okay. I split only for sine. So this could be a small show that or prove that question. Show that sine eighty a equal to this, this, this. Like the identity is what you did, right? So like that you may have a question like sine eighty a equal to eight sine a cos a cos two a whatever. So Compound angles, guaranteed question. You will definitely have this is something similar to from the comparison perspective, the conditional probability we had done in the statistics, right? So, yeah. no matter what the probability question they give, you will definitely have a conditional probability question. The same way, no matter what the type of trigonometric question they are going to give in A levels, that will one way or other connect it to the compound angles. So, it's so important. So, let me tell now for the cos, the way we do for the cos also. Cos compound angle sum. So, cos A plus B equal to cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Yeah, this is the formula, what we know the formula, right? So, case 1, what if A equal to b. So then we will have cos a plus a that is equal to cos a into cos a minus sin a into sin a. Any questions understood? I just substituted a equal to b. I, I replaced cos b as a a. Right? This b is also as a. This is the left side. I replaced B with the A. So you get cos 2A. That's equal to cos A into cos A is cos square A minus sin square A. This particular formula has significance or rather considered important simply because we know that identity, remember 1 equal to sin square a plus cos square a. 
yeah we could we could write this other way also as like cos square a plus sin square a equal to 1 right yeah correct so that's why see with this sign change instead of plus if you have minus you will get cos 2a okay. understood right so 1 is equal to cos square a plus sin square a okay and cos 2a is equal to cos square a minus sin square a got it this is important this formula is important again from other perspectives okay let's suppose i add this two. this one this one yeah i just wrote it here okay why i wrote it here because I want to play with these two equations. Okay, let's suppose these two are two equations, and I'll first add them. That means I'll have one plus cos two a on the left side when I add these two, and on the right side, sine square a sine square a get cancelled, and I'll have two cos square a. So, this sometimes is just a transformation of the same formula, but then if you look at it, we have cos 2a here is expressed in terms of, in terms of cos a and sin a. Both are there. This formula is, if you take the next step as cos 2a, like this is nothing but 2 cos squared a minus 1 right I just took this one to the right side so this formula is same for cos 2a both are for cos 2a if this is pure cos there is no sign in this formula got it right so this is not possible straight away with the sign 2a and all for example, in the sin 2a, you only had one version. That's this version like sin 2a equal to 2 sin a cos a. You don't have any more transformations for this. Whereas when it comes to the cos formula, you already have first original format, the one what we have. Then, then you have in a pure cos. You can also have in a pure sin. So this is when I add, this is what I got adding above. Add about to this. Okay. So instead of add, let's suppose I subtract them. Subtract one from other. Then what we'll have cos 2a minus 1 equal to you will get minus 2 sin squared a. Because this is what you add you sign change and then you get minus 2 sin squared a. Okay. So, which makes your cos 2a equal to this one comes to the other side 1 minus 2 sin squared a. So, this formula pure sin a, I mean on the right side. So, cos 2a in terms of both, cos 2a in terms of just cos a, cos 2a in terms of sin a. So, since this has got this kind of avatars, like you know, transformations, most of the time they give a question related to the cos 2a. Got it, right? Yeah, they, they gave it. Invariably, you will see a question that is related to cos 2a. You may have to use the direct first one or the transformation of the cos a or like this. Okay? This is the most kind of, uh, they like this kind of questions. Because students try to remember only one formula. So we try to give the other kind of things. Okay. So if you look at it, I am taking this compound angles with uh, A into A. I give two, two cases for sine. I did not use A minus B. I used A plus B. Right, I didn't use a minus b. Why? Because if you use a minus b, that becomes zero, right? 
cos 0. There is no formula you get a value, isn't it? Cos 0 equal to 1. Yeah, sure. So no need to do that formula. That's why we are not covering A minus B as an application. Okay. Mm. Third one. Yeah, yeah, correct. A minus B I'm not taking. Now for the tan. We have the formula tan A plus tan B over 1 minus tan A tan B. So case 1. Oh, we didn't do case 2 for the previous thing. So we did just case 1. Yeah, we just did the case 1 here, right? Yeah, we did the case 2. Oh, we wanted case 2. Okay, let's go back and then uh, do case 2. What is that? Like A equal to B equal to X by 2. Then you have cos A plus B. The formula we will be substituting B and A values. Oh, no minus sin A sin B. So when you substitute this, you will have cos A means x by 2, B is x by 2, cos x by 2, cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 sin x by 2. So when you add this thing, you get 1x which is cos x equal to cos squared x by 2 minus sin squared x by 2. Yeah, this is minus here, right? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay? Yeah, from here, you will get the other formula. As I said, if I have cos 2x or 2a, whatever is here, you are dividing by 2, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, cos 2a will be cos square a minus sin squared a. Cos a will be cos square a by 2 minus sin squared a by 2 cos 8a if you want equal to cos squared 4a minus sin squared 4a if you want you can simplify simplify all the things again cos 4a you could write it as cos squared 2a minus sin squared 2a that is for this 4a whole squared, this 2 is this 2. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, it's broke. Yeah, it's broke. yeah. so, yeah, it broke. Actually, I saw the uh, message in my system. Yeah. Okay. So, that's how you can simplify this further if you want. So, now, moving on to the tan, tan A plus B case 1 is A equal to B. A equals B. Then you have tan A plus A that's equal to tan A plus tan A divided by 1 minus tan A into tan A. So you get a formula yeah tan 2A equals to 2 tan A over 1 minus tan squared A. So this is the another formula and you don't need to simplify this any further. It's a tan 2a equals to 2 tan a divided by 1 minus tan squared a. That's how we will remember that. Okay. So again many questions will come like you know they will give some tan a value and um, they will ask you to find out tan 2a or they will give you tan 2a value and then ask you to find out tan a value. Tan A value. Let's see. Yeah, let's see. Let's suppose we know that we are given tan 45 equal to 1. Calculate tan 22.5 degrees. How much? 
So we are seeing the relation between this and this is two. This is half 45 half is 22.5. 22.5 times 2 is 45. So we use the above formula and we write it as tan 45 rather tan 45 equals to tan 2 times of 22.5. Then we yeah. use this formula 2 tan a divided by 1 minus tan squared a. So we know tan 45 equal to 1. So 1 equals to 2 tan a divided by 1 minus tan squared a. Correct? Then yeah. 1 equals 2 tan a divided by 1 minus 2 not 2 tan squared a. So you do the cross multiplication or whatever, then you get 2 tan a equals 1 minus tan squared a. Then make it as a quadratic tan squared a plus 2 tan a minus 1 equal to 0. This is the important thing, what we are covering right now. So this kind of question can come. Okay? Yeah. So this is, now we have a quadratic. We have a quadratic in terms of tan a. Tan a. So you can feed it into like for example x square whatever here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to minus 1 like you know x square plus bx plus c and feed into the calci then you get some value isn't it. Either you can do that yeah or by the formula by quadratic formula you will have tan a equal to minus b which is minus 2 plus or minus square root of b square that's a 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 c is minus 1 whole divided by 2 times of 1. So then you have minus 2 plus or minus square root of 4 plus 4 is square root of 8 divided by 2 that's minus 1 plus or minus 2 root 2 so you will have root 2 when we simplify that. So but we know that a is nothing but tan 22.5 this is the value yeah. of 22.5. In other words, it's 1.414 minus 1, which is 0.414, or you take the negative 1, then you'll have minus 2.414. These are the two values. Hmm. Yeah. So the question could start like, you know, they may say, they may, because this may be available in the booklet, this tan to a formula. So since they know that this formula is available, then the question would be like this. Given that tan 45 equal to 1, this is how the question looks like, you know, the question looks like this. So we are given tan 45 equal to 1, calculate tan 225, 22.5, okay. Then this is the method, you continue and then do that. Okay? Yeah, this one. You want me to explain or you want to just go through? Yeah, yeah. On this one, yeah, because we can write 45 as two times of 22.5. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. 
next screen. Yeah. You know the next screen, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe we can see those back one. Back one more, okay? Yeah. So, yeah. Now you may recall, like when we said in the beginning, okay, even in the last class, I said these are compound angles, and these are also called multiple or half angles, multiple, yeah. uh, multiple angles, or even you can have half angles. What do you mean by half angles? Because you look into this formula, what we have got, um, we have expressed sign something okay as here see we have got half angle coming in the next screen so we got this is a half angle whatever is a full x we got the half of that okay so these are called multiple angles okay? so this is called a, a multiple angle multiple and this is called a half angle So, they may actually, when they teach, they also say that we are learning compound angles and then from multiple angles and the half angles. Okay? So, it's a name, otherwise we learned that already in this class. Okay? So, half angle, multiple angles for sine, cos as well as tan. These are all the three things, very important. Okay? Um, so, identities as such, from the chapter perspective, this is included in the identities. Why? Because the quotients you will have based on this compound angles. All right. Now, do you know these values? For example, I have 90 degrees. Do you know what's uh, sine 90? One. Cos 90? 0. Tan, tan 90? 1 by 0 undefined. So why I am telling these rules? Okay. So we look at the very first thing we said was we had drawn all this and we say we'll start from here and let's suppose we are trying to get this one 135 degrees or say 120 degrees I would like to know sine 120 and I told you at the time you could write this as sine 90 plus 30 or you could write this as 180 minus 60 Right? We talked about this in the last class. 60, right? Yeah. So, at that time, we used that, the rule saying, you know, uh, add sugar to coffee or whatever, and we try to remember the values, and you had little difficulty, whatever. Okay, but we revised it. So, this is nothing but, this you have as A, and this is a B. So now I can apply that sine A plus B formula, which is sine 90 into cos 30 plus cos 90 into sine 30. That's a formula. So when I apply that and I substitute the values that I know, sine 90 is 1, cos 30 is root 3 by 2 plus cos 90 is 0. So you get a value root 3 by 2. So I got sin 90 plus 30. Yeah, sin 90 plus 30 is sin A cos B and then cos A sin B. Okay, sin 90 is 1. Cos 30 is this. Um, yes, but very unlikely. Very unlikely. Yeah, very unlikely. 
so they don't ask you to derive this so I'm, we are just trying to confirm what we did in other way using this formula so for this we are verifying here again sin 180 into cos 60 minus cos 180 into sin 60 so we are trying to get cos 180 minus 60 and let's see what value we will get sin 180 is 0 cos 60 is half minus cos 180 is minus 1 sin 60 is root 3 by 2 so the first one is 0 minus minus becomes plus root 3 by 2 so you get the same answer as this root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 okay so in fact wherever you had seen the the exercise whatever we have done that right we did something like 360 plus theta what's the formula and we did some 270 minus theta I said don't use it not recommended and things like that to actually get them or to verify you can use the compound angles use compound angles to get the answer yeah correct yes use the compound angle formula to get these values right they may ask but very unlikely they may not ask they they expect you to remember the concept of that ASTC add sugar to coffee that concept is important then this this is the way we do this is important from uh, the Indian curriculum like what we do the CBSE and all right they also have this but for them just doing this the way we did verify it right, that's much more important for uh, for the Cambridge you need to be understanding the concept like how that quadrant 1 quadrant 2 and all the things were used you know so why I'm stressing comparing with the CBSE is by chance the teacher goes and explains that he stresses that way CBSE way okay maybe because you know he teaches that or that's how that's why they come okay but then you need to know the concept whatever the method or the process I explained in the beginning that's how you first understand the complementary angles then the supplementary use that ASTC add sugar to coffee and then come to the compound angles at the end okay. all right yeah. so we, we limit uh, today one hour right Sunday uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sunday so we'll one hour uh, so this is uh, basically the compound angles we do have another 10 minutes time um, 12 minutes time uh, yes. so about that so let me know what you want me to revise in this um, 8 minutes time actually yeah, I yeah. so tell me so which worksheet. Worksheet here, oh he has given worksheet on this okay okay all right